I'm John Chow, Product Manager at Apprise. I'm introducing the Apprise SDK IDP add-on's new Intelligent Data Extraction module. The new features in this module will allow our customers to unlock the information within PDF documents, leveraging JSON as a data format to transport that information to any customer workflow or application. This new feature can capture not just the data within the documents, such as text and tab tabular information, but the entire document structure to allow for faithful one-to-one -one reconstruction of the documents. This feature works with high reliability and accuracy without the need of pre-training or templates to extract the data. Through the use of heuristics and AI, we can accurately detect reading order and organize data in document structure in a logically laid out JSON or Excel file for tabular data. With that, let's go to our demo. On my screen right now, we have some C++ code utilizing our SDK to with the new data extraction module classes. Now you can see that this is a single method called extract data, and that is all is required from a developer to convert an input PDF to an output JSON feeding the doc structure enumerator. Now, if, just for comparison's sake, I'm also doing a PDF text extraction. Um, this requires taking in the PDF, initializing the document, getting a page, getting a text extraction object, and then begin parsing the page and converting into text, and then dumping said text string to a file with, with the help of a helper class. That is already several more lines of code um, to do something that is objectively not as complete nor as useful to a, a developer. Let's take a look at the resulting output. Well, first the input actually. Now tz.pdf this is a news tabloid from Germany about gardening. And as you can see, there's many, many different paragraphs with many subtitles and lots of different fonts and imagery. Now doing a straightforward text extraction of this document, while it may get the text out of it, it does not provide good uh, structure. Uh, it's very hard to determine where paragraphs begin and end, especially as I am not a native German speaker. Um, so it's very hard to understand the context of what is being said. Uh, you can tell, okay, here's a, a photo caption. So this is probably the bottom of a paragraph, but everything is sort of mashed together in singular lines. Um, paragraphs aren't maintaining their inherent grouping. It's just line by line in a raw text file. Now, conversely, let's take a look at what this looks like as a JSON document with our API. Now, starting from the top, we can see that we have a page and the properties of the, we can see that this is the first page and there are elements that have been grouped. Um, this is a JSON document, so elements are embedded within other elements. So you get an inherent structure uh, and how they are organized from the page. Uh, there is a JSON spec available. You can see that this is a paragraph element and it's contained in a rectangle. Each paragraph has a text style and contents within the paragraph called spans. And this concludes, uh, those spans will have the actual text that we're looking for. So it says four, and this next span says Mucan region. And you can see that each span has a different font that has been identified by our our engine. Let's take a look at a longer text block. So that was a title and you can see here that text instead of being line by line are now kept in a single paragraph. So overall with the JSON document you're able to capture more, more data and data about the data such as layout, uh, fonts, and overall location on the page. Let's check out our next API that we're part offering as part of the data extraction module as it's called here. And this is the tabular uh, table extraction data. We take a table PDF and convert it into a JSON document calling the eTabular enumerator. 
Uh, in addition, we have a direct extract to XSLX. That is an Excel document. If you have table documents and PDFs, we can directly convert it right to an Excel file. Let's take a look at the table.pdf document. So this document is a single page uh, PDF pulled, pulled from a scientific journal. So as you can see, this document, while it does have text that's selectable, it also works with scan documents as well. Um, there's no need to have an OCR step, but if for whatever reason your document has more difficult uh, text, uh, we do have an OCR API that can handle the conversion first before feeding it to the data extraction. Now let's see what the resulting output is first in JSON. Now this JSON is specific to table data. So the entire page has now been converted to a table. You can see there's elements of column widths with table rows and table data cells. This is using a similar to HTML where there's TR and TD tags or in this case elements within the JSON. They contain the dimensions and the content therein. So first you can see that there was the text of the header that was identified. Sumas River watershed soils. So that is outside of the table. Now here you can see that it is actually identified another uh, a, a real table within the document with, of type table. Here you can see the table row, table data, and here's the text within map, symbol, soil name, and soil material, drainage, and classification. Going to our PDF, you can see it has identified the first row and the data cells within, which represents the header of this table. Scrolling through the document, you can see that it's identified individual table data contents and the text therein. Now let's take a look at the direct to Excel conversion. Same document, uh, slightly different API. So you can see it also identified the content outside of that initial table. And here are the headers and the content therein, all directly accessible via Excel file. Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison just to see. So for whatever reason, if you are not needing a uh, programmatic output of your tabular data, you can go direct to Excel, and then those Excel files can be human readable and processed, um, cut and paste essentially into whatever files or sub documents that may be of needed need to your uh, customers. And with that, that's our first demonstration of the data extraction module as part of a prize IDP add-on for our SDK. Um, I hope this is of some use, and I hope that we can help your solutions going forward. Thank you.